Hi there, and thanks for joining. In this sample, I will demonstrate how to create a simple Drupal developer portal for your Apigee API product. Let's get started. Apigee's Drupal developer portal is a highly customizable solution where developers can discover, learn about, and test your APIs. Like the integrated developer portal, it serves as the central hub for your API consumers. But unlike the integrated developer portal, the Drupal portal isn't managed directly within Apigee. Now, before we begin this accelerator sample, be sure to read the intro sections and note the prerequisites. You'll be able to follow along the instructions either in Cloud Shell or right here in this repository. In this video, we'll follow along with Cloud Shell. So, without further ado, click on the Cloud Shell button. This will download the Apigee Samples GitHub repository code directly into your Cloud Shell editor. Once the repository is loaded into your Cloud Shell, CD into the correct folder. If needed, you can ensure that you are signed into the correct account with this command. Next, update the environment file with your own Apigee information. Then, source your environment file. Now this is where it gets interesting. Run this command to deploy the API proxy and product. Note, however, that this command will not create your developer portal. We will need to do that separately. Once that finishes, we will navigate to the next page and follow the instructions there. Now we need to launch the Drupal portal. In a new tab, enter the GCP project where your Apigee organization is deployed and navigate to Cloud Marketplace. Once there, search for Apigee Developer Portal Kickstart and enter the solution. Click Launch once you're inside. Configure a portal with the name of Sample Drupal Developer Portal and select a zone near your Apigee organization. You may need to create a new service account for the portal and be sure that you enable HTTPS under Networking. All other settings can be left at default values. Once you're done, click Deploy. This will start a Deployment Manager deployment and should take about an hour to complete. From within your Deployment Manager Drupal deployment page, you'll find your HTTPS link along with your basic auth credentials on the right. Once the deployment is complete, make note of the credentials and enter the HTTPS site. Enter the credentials. Now we need to install the Drupal content and finish its configuration. Choose your language and click Save and Continue. Give it a minute to install the site. Configure the endpoint to reflect Apigee X and paste in your Apigee org ID. Click Save Configuration. Configure your site with the name Sample Drupal Developer Portal and register your own account as the site email address. Also grant your account admin access to the portal. Once that's done, click Save and Continue. Go ahead and install the Drupal content and click Save and Continue again. Give it a minute and you'll arrive at the home page of your Drupal developer portal. It comes pre-configured with demo content, but feel free to ignore that as none of it is relevant to this video or your Apigee organization. The first thing you'll want to do within the portal is make sure that you are signed into your admin account. If you aren't, be sure to sign in. The next thing we want to do is add our Apigee product to the Drupal API catalog. So, from the home page, navigate to Content and then to API Catalog. Click the plus Open API button. For name, enter Sample Drupal Developer Portal API. Also enter a description. For the specification source type, use the Drupal Developer Portal.yaml file from the Cloud Shell repo. So navigate back to Cloud Shell, select the file, and download it. Upload the Drupal Developer Portal.yaml file as API documentation. Leave all other fields as their default values and click Save. The final configuration step is to create an app so we can access the secured Drupal Developer Portal API that we just created. So navigate to Apps from the top nav bar. Next, click the Add App button. Name your new app Sample Drupal Developer Portal App. Leave the callback URL blank as well as the description 
And finally, make sure that Sample Drupal Developer Portal product is selected before clicking Add App. Now we're ready to test our API. Within your new Sample Drupal Developer Portal app, copy the consumer key. This key can also be known as the API key. Once you have that, navigate to the APIs page from the top nav bar. Find your Sample Drupal Developer Portal API and click into it. From within the API, click Authorize and enter your consumer key. After that, select the slash get method and from under try this API, click the execute button. Voila! A 200 response means that it was successful. You now have a working API secured and documented within your Drupal developer portal. Now, optionally, you can clean up and delete the resources that we created in this video. First, navigate to the Apogee console. Next, go to the developers page. Find the account that you created in your Drupal developer portal, hover over it, and select the trash can icon to delete. This will also delete all Apogee apps associated with your developer. Next, navigate to the GCP Deployment Manager. From your Drupal deployment, click Delete at the top. A pop-up will be shown. Select the option to delete all resources associated with the Drupal portal. Lastly, go back to the Cloud Shell and run the cleanup script to delete all resources that are deploy script created at the beginning of this sample video. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. If you have not signed up for Apogee yet, use the top link. If you have any questions, please visit the Apogee community. Thank you.